Hello there and welcome to my channel. I'm Marie. Today we are going to crochet this cute little baby bonnet. It is my own design. It is called the Parisian Crochet Baby Bonnet. And the size that we are making here today is a size 3 to 6 months. But you will be able to find the pattern in additional sizes on my website. So make sure to check that out. And on my website you will also be able to find the pattern in a free version in this size that we are making today. So with all that said, let's get started. For the bonnet we are going to need one skein of Drops Cotton Merino. It is a mix of 50% wool and 50% cotton and it is an 8 ply DK worsted weight yarn. The weight is 50 grams and the length is approximately 110 meters. We will also need a 4 millimeter crochet hook or in the US a size G, we will need a darning needle and some scissors. To begin we are going to make a magic circle. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around two fingers to create a cross. Then I will take my hook and insert it underneath the bottom yarn and grab the top yarn with my hook and pull through. Then I'm going to yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And here's my magic circle and I already have one chain so I'm going to chain one more. Yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook. And into the circle I'm going to make 12 double crochet. So to make a double crochet I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And I can just pull my yarn tail here to close the circle a little bit tighter. And again double crochet 11 more times into the circle. And here at the end I'm just going to close the circle completely by pulling my yarn tail here. And I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch right here. And to start row 2 I'm going to chain 2. And the chain 2 will not count as a stitch. So I'm going to make 2 double crochet into the first stitch right here. And I'm going to make two double crochet into every stitch around, so 24 double crochet in total. And here at the end of the round it's always a good idea to just check to see if you have all 24 stitches. So to end the round I'm going to make a slip stitch into this first stitch. And I'm going to chain 2 to start the next round. And again the chain 2 will not count as a stitch. So I'm going to make 2 double crochet into the first stitch. And then I will make one double crochet into the next stitch. And I will just repeat those last two steps all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next. So I will have 12 increases all the way around. And at the end of this round I should have 36 double crochet. To end the round I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain 2 to start the next round. And as always the chain 2 will not count as a stitch. 
So I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And then I will make one double crochet into the next two stitches. And I will just repeat that all the way around. So I will alternate between making two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next two. So again, I will have 12 increases in the round. So two double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next two and repeat around. And here at the end of round four, I should have 48 double crochet. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain two to start the next round. And in row five, I will make two double crochet into the first stitch. And next, one double crochet into the next three stitches. And I will just repeat that all the way around. So at the end of the round, I will have 12 increases in total. And here at the end of round five, I should have 60 double crochet in total. So I'm going to end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain two to start the next round. In round six, I'm just going to make a double crochet into every stitch around. So 60 double crochet in total. And I will just end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And now that I didn't make any increases in this last round, you can see that my work is taking the shape of a little hat here. So from here on, I'm going to start working in rows of the Parisian stitch pattern. So I'm going to chain one, and I will make a half double crochet here into the first stitch. So yarn over and insert and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then I will skip the next stitch and into this next stitch I will make two double crochet then chain one and make a single crochet into the same stitch. Then I'm going to skip two stitches and work another group of two double crochet, chain one and a single crochet into the same stitch. So yarn over and skip one, two and make two double crochet chain one and a single crochet into the same stitch. And I will just repeat all the way around until I have nine stitches left of the row. So skip one, two and two double crochet, chain one 
and a single crochet into the same stitch. I now have 17 groups in the row and I have 9 stitches left here. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and into the next I will work a half double crochet. So yarn over and insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 3. And I'm just going to leave these 7 last stitches unworked. They are going to serve as the neckline of the bonnet. So I'm just going to chain one and turn my work. And in row eight, I'm going to make a half double crochet into this first stitch. Then I'm going to skip this next stitch and make another group of stitches into this chain space here from the previous row. So I will make two double crochet into the chain space then chain one and make a single crochet into the same chain space and then I will skip the next three stitches and do the same thing into the next chain space so again two double crochet chain one and a single crochet into the same space and i will just repeat this last step all the way across the row until i have three stitches left so i will make two double crochet chain one and a single crochet into every chain space of the row. Two double crochet, chain one and a single crochet into the same space. So here at the end I have three stitches left. I'm going to skip the next two and make a half double crochet into the very last stitch here. And I will chain one and turn my work. And from row 9 to row 16 I'm just going to repeat row 8. So I will just do exactly the same thing as I did here in row 8. And I will have 10 rows of the Parisian stitch pattern in total. So a half double crochet into the first stitch and two double crochet, chain one and a single crochet into every chain space of the row. And I will just continue and meet you at the end of row 16. So here at the end of row 16, I will again just skip the next two stitches and make a half double crochet into the last stitch. And for row 17, I'm going to make a nice border here on the edge of the bonnet. And this you will only have to do for this smaller size. For the next size, I have one more round, so my stitches turn outwards and the border looks beautiful here. But in this size, my stitches turn on the wrong side, so I'm just going to make this nice border. So I will chain one and I will make a slip stitch into the next stitch. 
Then I will skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch into the chain space. Then chain one. And make a slip stitch into the next two stitches. Again, skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch into the next chain space. Again, chain one and make a slip stitch into the next two stitches. And I will just repeat all the way around the edge here. And here at the end, I will just make a slip stitch into the last three stitches. And the border is now done. So I'm going to make the first strap of the bonnet and I'm going to chain 43. Then I'm going to skip the next chain from the hook and single crochet into the next chain. So insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And I will make a single crochet into every chain of the strap. I am now going to continue my row of single crochet all the way around the sides of my bonnet here and the neckline. So I will just make a single crochet here into every stitch. And I will continue here in the stitches of the neckline. And again, I will continue to make single crochet here into the sides of the stitches of my bonnet here. And here at the end of the row, I will again chain 43 to make the second strap. And again, I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and make a single crochet into the second chain. And I will make a single crochet into every chain of the strap. And here at the end, I'm just going to make a slip stitch here into the edge of the bonnet. And I will fasten off my yarn. So I will pull my yarn and cut. And I will tie a little knot. And I'm now ready to sew in my yarn tails. And I will do that on the wrong side here. So I will attach my needle and weave in the yarn tail. And I will just go back and forth a few times. And always make sure that the thread doesn't show on the front side. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, make sure to give this video a like. It would really support this channel 
and make sure to also subscribe to the channel to get notifications when I have a new video upload. I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.